teenage girl is beaten at a St. Louis Metro link in the city while security guards on the platform did nothing. Fox 2's Elliot Davis went to Metro with troubling questions about their security. That is tonight's You Paid For It. The beating happened at the Forest Park de Bolivar Metrolink station in the city yesterday about 1.35 p.m. There's a Facebook video of the attack that's gone viral. A 19-year-old girl is approached by another young girl who screams at her. I'm all in your face. Okay. Ain't no gonna ever let you be that close. I'm scared. Ain't no gonna ever let you be that close. Right. Right. Two security guards on the platform did nothing to intervene. I talked to Metrolink Commissioner Derek Keith Cox, who saw the video as well. At first, I was mad. Then it, the emotion turned that I almost wanted to, to cry. I mean, you know, I just sad that, um, you know, people who depend on the system, how can they feel safe after watching that? He says the actions by the guards are especially troubling. There is two security guards standing there. The attacker wasn't deterred whatsoever. For minutes, kept, kept up the assault. As the security guards stood there, what does that say about our security? I want answers. I, I want to hear from our security firm, G4S, uh, and I would like to hear from uh, Mr. Roach. But I say just spent taxpayers' money to hire a new security firm back in April for $16 million. That firm hired the guards that were involved in this incident. I caught up with Bay State President and CEO, Toby Roach. So you said the guards didn't react properly. That's right, they didn't act, react properly. Roach says he's still piecing all this together, but says he knows what the unarmed guards should have done. Well, certainly in that instance, some fundamental intervention, some de-escalation. Look, it was a situation that went out of control, but can be controlled just by getting in the way, trying to settle people down, have a discussion, create it like a community. Earlier this year, Bi-State took guns away from security guards. You paid for a million dollars worth of studies to make the system safer. One of the suggestions was to have guards without guns. Only police officers are armed. Do you think it was a mistake taking the guns away from the guards? I do. I still believe in that because, again, what if the situation would have even gotten worse? There's nothing to even protect the guards. And perhaps maybe that's why that they just stood there. What are they going to do? They, they, have, they have nothing either. They just stood there and watched. But what are the guards doing? You took the guns from the guards. I mean, how much can they really do in that situation? Well, a, and they're unarmed. Sure, a, a gun wouldn't have helped that situation as all. As a matter of fact, probably would have made it worse. So Metro will review this incident to see what can be done to improve security. But CEO Toby Roach says one of the things they're not considering is giving guns back to guards. I'll stay on top of this deal. After all, you pay for it.